do it now sometimes later becomes never with this inspirational quote myself nandita disouza presenting you this lesson drawing tool in our last video we saw the different tools under the tools group here in this video we will study the different tools used for drawing purpose the first tool which we are going to study is the line tool the line tool is used to draw straight lines what are the steps involved the steps involved to select the line tool are you will have to click on the home tab under the home tab you will find the shapes group in the shapes group you will find the line tool then you will have to move the mouse pointer on the drawing area the mouse pointer changes to plus sign hold down the left mouse button drag the mouse and release the mouse button choose the thickness of the line from the size menu and select a color from the color box in the home tab now let's see how to work with the line tool first select the home tab under home tab you will find the shapes group under shapes group you will find the line tool click on that then move the mouse pointer on the drawing board here the mouse pointer changes to the plus sign click on the left mouse button and drag it to the position where you want the line to end then release the mouse button this is how you draw the straight line the next tool is the curve tool the curve tool is used to draw curve lines what are the steps involved first step is you will have to select the curve tool from where will you select the curve tool for that first click on the home tab under home tab you will find shapes group in the shapes group you will find the curve tool it is denoted with the symbol then after selecting the curve tool draw a line with the help of the curve tool press the left mouse button and drag it to make a curve or click outside the line to form a curve double click to end and get selection box to resize it click out on blank area to confirm the shape let's see how to use this tool click on the home tab and the home tab you will find the shapes group and the shapes group you will find the curve tool now press the left mouse button and drag it to make a curve or click outside the line to form a curve double click at the end and get the selection box to resize it click out on blank area to confirm the shape the next tool is the rectangle tool the rectangle tool is used to draw rectangles or squares what are the steps involved first select the home tab under home tab you will find the shapes group in the shapes group you will find the rectangle tool then press the left mouse button and drag it till the rectangle of desired size is drawn to get a perfect shape of a square press the shift key on your keyboard and draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool then choose the thickness of the outline from the size menu and select a color from the color box in the home tab let us learn how to draw a rectangle and a square using the rectangle tool click on home tab and the home tab shapes group and the shapes group you will find the rectangle tool 
click on the rectangle tool select the color of the outline i will click on the red color press the left mouse button and drag till the rectangle of desired size is drawn to get a perfect shape of the square press the shift key and then draw the square out of the rectangle tool the next tool is the rounded rectangle tool the rounded rectangle tool is used to draw rounded rectangles or rounded squares what are the steps involved first you will have to select the home tab under the home tab you will find the shapes group under the shapes group you will find the rounded rectangle tool then you will have to press the left mouse button and drag it till the rounded rectangle of desired size is drawn to get a perfect shape of a square press the shift key on your keyboard and draw a rounded rectangle using the rounded rectangle tool finally choose the thickness of the outline from the size menu and select a color from the color box in the home tab let's see how to work with the rounded rectangle tool to draw a rounded rectangle tool click on the home tab then under shapes group you will find the rounded rectangle tool click on that if you want to change the color you can change the color of the outline i will select on blue color then press the left mouse button and draw the desired rounded rectangle suppose you want to draw a perfect rounded square you will have to click on the shift key on the keyboard and draw the perfect rounded square next tool is the oval tool the oval tool is used to draw ellipse or circle the steps involved are first select the home tab under the home tab shapes group under the shapes group you will find the oval tool then press the left mouse button and drag it till the ellipse of desired size is drawn to get a perfect shape of a circle press the shift key on your keyboard and draw a circle using the oval tool choose the thickness of the outline from the size menu and select a color from the color box in the home tab now let's see how to draw a oval and a circle using the oval tool to draw a ellipse you will have to again click on the home tab and the home tab shapes group and the shapes group you will find the oval tool click on that you can change the desired color of the outline i will select green color then press on the left mouse button and draw the ellipse of your desired shape to draw a perfect shape of a circle you will have to press on the shift key then comes the polygon tool the polygon tool is used to draw connecting lines to work with the polygon tool the steps involved are first select the home tab under the home tab you will find the shapes group in the shapes group you will find the polygon tool draw the first line and go on clicking points on the screen where you want to add a side finally double click when you have completed the figure lines are drawn automatically between the points let's see how to work with the polygon tool select the home tab under home tab you will find the shapes group under shapes group you will find the polygon tool click on that then i will select a different color after selecting the different color first i will draw the first line after drawing the first line go on clicking on the screen where you want to add the side finally double click when you completed the figure lines are drawn automatically between the points
on selecting any shape outline and filter option gets activated how to work with this outline tool the shapes outline will be the same color as the color one box if you want to change the consistency of the color or remove it entirely click on the outline drop down box and then click the needed option to apply it example you can see here when you click on the drop down arrow in front of the outline tool you will find these options suppose if you don't want any color on the outline you will have to click on this option that is no outline let me show you how this outline tool works the shapes outline will be the same color as the color one box if you want to change the consistency of the color or remove it entirely click on the outline drop down box then click on the desired option suppose i don't want the outline then you will have to click on no outline the outline gets disappeared you want the outline to be filled with solid color click on solid color if you want the outline to look like a crayon you will have to click on crayon if you want the outline to look like a marker or natural pencil or watercolor select the desired options under this drop down menu you can even change the thickness of this outline by selecting the desired size under the size tool the second option is fill tool this tool helps to fill color in any closed shape the fill color will be the same color as the color two box you can select a different fill option to use a stylized fill texture example crayon here when you click on the drop down arrow next to the fill tool you will find some more options under this you have solid color you have crayon you have marker oil natural pencil and watercolor if you want to fill the color with different style you can click on these options if you click on crayon the filled color will be in the style of crayon let me show you how this tool works fill tool helps to fill color in any closed shape for this click fill then click the solid color you can select the different fill option to use the stylized fill texture for example if i want to click on the crayon i can click on crayon style then select the desired color the fill color will be the same color as the color two box next tool is the brushes to select the different type and styles of brushes first click on the home tab under home tab you will find brushes group under brushes group you can select any of the brush available select any colors from the colors box choose the brush and then the width of the brush from the size drop down list move the mouse pointer to the drawing area and draw using the brush while pressing the left mouse button at last release the mouse button when done let's see how the brush tool works to select the brushes of your choice you will have to click on the home tab then under the brushes group you will find the different kinds of brushes first one is a normal brush second one is calligraphy brush third one is calligraphy brush type 2 next is air brush then comes oil brush followed by crayon type then comes marker and natural pencil finally the watercolor brush i will select the first option that is the normal brush then i will change the width of the brush from the size drop down list i will also change the color of the brush to purple then move the mouse pointer to the drawing area to draw using the brush while pressing the left mouse button release the mouse button when done and the last tool which we are going to study here is the 
colors box in the colors box you will notice two color boxes that is color 1 and color 2 color 1 is the foreground color whereas color 2 is the background color to select different colors under color 1 box first you will have to click on it and then select a color from the colors box similarly to change the colors under color 2 box first you will have to click on the color 2 box and then select a color from the colors box in the colors box there is also an edit colors option to color the pictures drawn in paint use colors from the color palette the edit colors option in the colors group opens a new window of colors where you can make a new shade of color from the options available. Now, let me show you how to work with this colors box tool. Color 1 is always used for the outline colors, whereas color 2 is used for the fill colors. For example, if I take a rectangle, you can see here the outline color is the green color, that is the color 1 box. And the fill color is the color 2 box that is the dark red color. What about the edit colors? When you click on edit color, a new window opens. Under this, you can create any color of your choice. The color which you create will be reflected here. Once you select the desired color, you will have to click on add to custom colors and then click on OK. Now you can find your customized color under the color palette. Let's take a quick recap on what we studied. First, we studied about the line tool. The line tool is used to draw straight lines. Then, we studied about the curve tool. The curve tool is used to draw curved lines. Then, we saw how to draw a rectangle and a square using the rectangle tool. Then we saw how to draw a rounded rectangle and a rounded squares using the rounded rectangle tool. Then we saw how to draw ellipse or circle using the oval tool. Then we studied about the polygon tool. The polygon tool is used to draw connecting lines. Then we studied about the outline tool. How to change the outline colors of any shape. Then we studied about fill tool. How to fill different colors in any closed shape. Then we saw how to use the different types of brushes. And finally, we studied about the colors box. My dear students, I hope you have clearly understood this lesson, drawing tools. Do try to practice at home. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and Kindle Kids Learning for the upcoming videos. See you in my next video. Till then, stay home. Stay safe. Let me wind up this video by teaching you one good habit. Brush your teeth.